Imagine if the Sex Pistols mated with Motorhead while having an affair with Cheap Trick and then getting an STD from Kiss. And you have the Wild Hearts, one of the greatest rock bands of the last 4,000 years. It's true. They've been at the forefront of the British music scene since they formed nearly 20 years ago, and they've done more drugs than a room full of lab rats. But they're still here, and their sixth album came out last year. I've got it, and it's pretty awesome. It's called, get this, The Wild Hearts. It took them six months to come up with that title. That's what meth will do to you boys. And they'll be releasing a new DVD next week, which features footage of the band in the studio. Joining us is the band singer, Ginger. If musical genius were a burrow, I'd ride that ass up a mountain. Oh. Oh. So you just get rid of my gum here. Oh, there you go. And now, I'll take that from my lab. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> so, so, Ginger, you have a very unusual accent. And for most people at home, they probably never heard what's called a Geordie. You're a Geordie. I'm a Geordie. I'm from Newcastle, which is kind of downstairs from Scotland. Yeah. And uh, there's, uh, fortunately, um, it's the most desirable accent in the UK at the moment. Really? This is true. There's been a survey done, and everybody wants to have a Geordie accent. <laughs> It'll change in a few months' time. It always does. But it, it went from being, I think, Glaswegian, and then Manchester... Geordie's in now. I love the fact that they have surveys on accents. <laughs> they can't, if they did that in the United States, you would be arrested. Now, we, how come when you talk, you have a thick, charming accent, but when you sing, it disappears? How does singing, you notice this with a lot of bands, how does singing make an accent go away? I don't know, because all of the singers that we listen to in England are American. I mean, yeah. you know, the, when I was a kid anyway, all the singers were American. Um, when I formed the group, I didn't want to sing. We were auditioning singers for the longest time, and uh, we got sick of auditioning singers, so me and the guitar player decided to do it like the Everly yeah. Brothers. Now, he's from London, mm -hmm. and I'm from Newcastle. If we'd sang in our original accents, it would have sounded <laughs> awful. Um, <laughs> But uh, it's it kind of like, I don't know, I couldn't sing in my original accent if I tried because it would just come out sounding like the singers I want to be like. Yeah. I but I'm that, not as good at it. It's so strange because so few bands from, from England sound British and it's so surprising when you hear it. Now, there have been a lot of permutations of the Wild Hearts, different lineups, and a friend pointed out to me that you're the only person never to leave the band. Is that because you're the one that caused everybody to leave? I'm the boss. <laughs> I, no, I, you know what? I've been sacked from every band I've been in. Yeah. I, I, seriously, and this, and I, I formed a band so I couldn't get sacked. Ah. And 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 I ended up sacking everyone else. That's cocaine. Okay. <laughs> That's cocaine. Okay. Hell of a drug. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, cocaine wasn't your only drug, right, Ginger? No. <laughs> Natty schoolboy said, no. <laughs> what, what, um, what were the what were the what were the the the, the drugs involved in your downfall? All of them. All all of them. them. The, the Wild Dogs wasn't really a kind of a heroin or a coke band. Yeah, we just took drugs. <laughs> Um, open-minded, Greg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were just opportunists. Yeah. You know? How did you survive? Because I, when I met you a couple, four years ago, you had just developed a meth habit. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was one of the few I hadn't ticked off the list. I never got to PCP. <laughs> I gave up drugs before I tried PCP, so um, I'm a bit disappointed in myself, but uh, <laughs> ha happy, to be, happy to be here to tell you that. What was the most amount of drugs you took in one time? Oh, my God. I did look. I mean, we, I mean, it's, the difference between the Wild Arts and a band like Motley Crue yeah. is we only stop taking the drugs when the money runs out. Yes. <laughs> and the money would run out and we would stop taking, but up until that point, we'd just pig out because yeah. we knew it wasn't going to last for a long time. Yeah. I used to stay up for days and days and days smoking freebies, which is well, cocaine, yeah. as you no, might have knows. heard. Yeah. I don't know if I've you know. I've never heard of that. Uh, interesting. You could smoke it, eh? Um, <laughs> What was the most sordid thing, that, a sordid example of your life that you look back and you regret, you go, oh, what was I thinking? Oh, man. There's lots of them. I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, the one that springs to mind was um, when I was trying to give up drugs and I went to Thailand kickboxing. Yeah. And I found out that they sell Valium in, over the counter in the <laughs> shops. Not even in the pharmacies, but just in the stores. Yeah. And I ended up getting arrested and put in a jail in Thailand. For, oh for a couple of weeks. Uh, but walked out with me cherry intact. Mm. <laughs> uh, so, um, but uh, for the kids at home, uh, when you're in Thailand, they give you a cherry to hold yeah. when you're there. And if you're able to hold on to it, that means you didn't get into a fight. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, yeah, the cherry that you toss the salad with. Uh, <laughs> exactly. So, uh, yeah, so um, it was, uh, that was probably the thing that I, I look back and go like, oh, that wasn't too clever. Yeah. But um, it was... You know, it's kind of like that was when I was trying to get clean, and yeah. and, and, and so that sort of stuff happens to us all the time now. Obviously, you know, jail, mm -hmm. <laughs> immigration. Yeah. Because, uh, <laughs>
I am trying you're to fine stay. now. No, I'm you trying to stay in your country. Yes. No, you are absolutely clean. You're uh, you're doing an amazing job. You got uh, you got a new record coming out. Uh, the band's official website is thewildhearts.com. Go there and buy this guy's records. He's an amazing songwriter, and you will not be sorry with this album. I've got them all. We got to go. Coming up next. Thank you, Ginger. All